poll after poll shows that 70% of the American people would be more likely to support a candidate who was for comprehensive, fair, and just immigration reform that included secure borders. Unfortunately, that 70% are focused more in the middle, those who are independents, than those who vote in Democratic primaries and those who vote in Republican primaries. And let's be honest, there are people in both parties who have a vested interest in solving this problem for their own political advantage and to the detriment of the country. Uh, this, this issue is rending the social fabric of the nation in ways that are far easier to rend than they are to mend. And it is time that people of goodwill in this country focus on a solution that begins to mend the social fabric instead of further rending it. And um, it, let me say very clearly, we need comprehensive, fair, and just immigration reform first and foremost because it is the right thing to do. It is consistent with American principles. It is consistent with Christian principles. Uh, if you want to see a, a long ex explanation of that, I would encourage you to go to the Regent University Law Review website where my colleague Barrett Duke and I have written a long biblical explanation of the reasons why fair, just, and comprehensive immigration reform is the right thing to do. This is not a difficult problem to solve if people of goodwill will get together and solve it. Um, I don't see how we're going to secure the border until we secure the workplace. The workplace is the magnet. As long as you have the economic disparity that you have between South America and the United States, people are going to come here to better themselves, to better their families' futures. They're going to come here. They're going to find a way to come here. They will defeat any means that we put up to stop them. They'll go over it, under it, around it. They'll get here. The only way to, to secure the border is to secure the workplace. Now, I would argue that, that we should uh, have a three-month period where people would have an op opportunity to come forward, to register, to undergo a criminal background check, and uh, then and pay a fine for having broken the law. Not amnesty. Amnesty is what Jimmy Carter gave to the draft dodgers who went to Canada to avoid service in Vietnam. They got to come home with no penalty, no fine, no anything. They just got to come home. Now, I would have let them come home, but I would have required them to work for two years in veterans' hospitals at minimum wage, taking care of those who took their place. Now, uh, I would say that you say to these who come forward, you have a three-month period to come forward, to register, to undergo a criminal background check, pay a fine. Part of that fine would be used to give them a tamper-proof identity card preferably a thumbprint, not a picture, but a thumbprint. Then you give to every American a new Social Security card, not the antique that we've been given since 1936, that also has some form of identification on it, probably a thumbprint. Once again, not a picture, but a thumbprint. Uh, and then you say to employers, you hire someone who doesn't have either this identity card or this new Social Security card, and you're going to go to jail for six months. That will turn off the magnet. 